And I really noticed in my four years here that Mary Sue is a unique president throughout the country. It first hit me freshman year when I was talking to a friend from Michigan State and I was talking about Mary Sue and she said, wait, who's this Mary Sue? And I said, well, she's our president. She went, wait, you call your president by the first name? I said, absolutely, you don't? And she goes, I don't even know our president's name. She's so, so approachable already. And I think one of her strengths as president uh, is that every student respects her uh, so much and understands that uh, you know, on a random day, you might see her walking around. And she's so visible and she's uh, there for the students. And when we talk about the Michigan difference, when we talk about what it means to be a student or a member of this community, we talk about taking on big, bold, new ideas. And I think that one of the hallmarks of President Coleman's time here has been her willingness and her, her team's willingness to support new, innovative things. We sent an email telling her what we were doing, telling her that we thought we were doing something that you know she would support. And she actually took the time to read that email and get back to us and just say, I think what you're doing is really cool. This is a great effort. I support it. Um, to us, that meant so much at the time because we were this new organization. you know. You kind of wonder whether what you're doing is worth it, you know, putting in all this time to get her support like that. Um, see that she actually listens to students is a, a really powerful My thing. Party, I've met her about half a dozen times throughout my four years here, and every time really just been struck by how much she cares about students. So obviously, a university is a very big, large place. Um, there is more than just undergraduate community, and she focuses very heavily on that and cares about the undergraduate community and cares about students. And that's something that I've found very important and have really admired about her um, and the rest of her administration. <laughs> Her final fireside chat was this March. And so to uh, make it a spe little bit special, we made it bigger. So about 100, 150 people came to that fireside chat. I think the coolest part was when Midnight Blue, an acapella group on campus, performed a custom song for Mary Sue. Um, at the very end, they sang it for her. And talking to Vice President Harper afterwards, it was the first time in 12 years during Mary Sue's uh, presidency that Vice President Harper has seen her shed a tear of joy. As the stat show, New York Times knows, she's the best, it's true. She's also so open and kind. We love you and we'll miss you, Mary Sue. So the song is to the tune of Favorite Things. Um, from the sound of music. Yes. We say, so we say thanks and we quote you, our Mary Sue, for today goodbye, for tomorrow good luck, and forever go blue. Is that something that Mary Sue has said? And if I remember correctly, they've like laminated the lyrics and sent them to her. Um, and she was just like really moved by how awesome that song was and the entire chat. All of these students who were trying to come out on her final fireside chat and just get to say bye. Uh, or see you later, rather, because she's staying in Ann Arbor.